Hi hey everyone, so I'm going to be showing you how to do a rechargeable uh, battery mod to your Sega Nomad. So there's a couple things you'll need. You'll need a charging board like this one that will work with your 18650 batteries, which is the replacement we're going to be using. So we're going to need that. We're going to need these batteries and you're going to need to remove all the plastic that is right here so that is you can see this just this entire center portion all the way up to right here which lines up with that first section and you can leave this portion right here and so the things you want to keep on from the original setup is at least your dc jack and you also want to keep the two uh terminals from it as well and you can take off the wires that were initially there so first you want to uh, take your batteries and tape them together so they're not moving then we can also prep the board and so I already have put some flux on there and I've already tinned up some wires so with that flux now on there we could start prepping our charging board So that is for the B plus, BM, and B negative. And you're also going to need those as well, which I have forgot to put some flux on. And that is for the voltage out and the ground. So I'm just going to prep all those parts. Now with those prepped, we can clean up just a little bit of that flux residue with a Q-tip and some IPA. What you're going to want to do is you're going to start wanting to wire up uh, wires to your batteries. You're going to want to wire one on each terminal so we can set this board aside and we can do this here. You don't have to have necessarily a whole lot. You just need to be able, of course, be able to connect your your battery uh, to the wire. And now with your solder points available to the wires, we're going to be wiring these up. So on these 18650 batteries, you can identify the positive by this versus the negative, which is clearly just plain and flat. So I'm going to start by soldering to the negative. And I've already prepped these points, so this will make it a lot easier. But I'm going to add a little bit of flux to 
the wires that I'm soldering to just so it is much easier. a pretty strong connection right there. We're going to get our other black wire and I'm going to add a little flux to the end of the wire. I know it has a little bit of red on it but that's just because of when I was stripping the wire. And there you go second one. Now you can flip it upside down. Get your two positive wires. Add a little flex. I'm going to do it like this. that last red wire. It also helps to use the correct color um, wire for your negative and positive so you don't get confused for any reason. All right, now that we have all of our wires, we can start getting this together. And you're going to want to have it a little bit left center right there so you do have room to solder to those points. So now that we are done prepping now, it's time to solder our wires to the board and the terminals that we have available on the right hand side here. So first we're going to go with the B plus um, pad on the charging board, which is this first one right here. That one is going to go to battery one post uh, positive. So we have our positives up top and we have our negatives on the bottom right now. So this is battery one, which I've marked one and two on the sides of the battery so I do not get confused. It's a good way to at least keep track of what you're doing. So this is battery one right here, post positive, and we're going to solder that one to battery uh battery positive right here, identified by B+. Plus. So we have it like that. You can tuck it down just a little bit. And there you go. Don't worry if it's getting a little bit loose right now because that can all be adjusted later. BM is going to be your center one right here and that one is going to go to battery two positive so you can bring that one also around and you can get it like that that may help to add a little bit of flex so if you want to add a little bit just to get this a little bit easier it's going to help out And there we go, we have BM connected to the second battery post, positive. And now we're going to do battery post 2, negative. So that is post 2 right here, negative. Right here. That is going to be um, B minus. So that's going to be this third pad down here. So if you want, you can always tuck the wires down however you choose to. I'm just going to choose to push it down below. 
that is going to go to our B minus right there. Add a little flux. All right. And then we need post uh, the positive one of battery two right here going to battery one negative. So we have battery one negative right here and that's going to go to battery two's positive. So that's going to go all the way up here and it's going to be bridged with that one. So if you need to angle your wire just a little bit to help out and because it's a little bit of a tight fit right there, add some flux to your wire instead of the point you're soldering to. Get a little bit of solder and then you can sneak it in there. And now that's soldered up right there. Now next, you're gonna wanna take a couple more wires, two little short ones and one that's a little bit longer because what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be taking the uh, voltage out right here on the board, say V out, and it goes right to the uh, terminal right here. Uh, actually, no, it'll be going to the bottom one, voltage out to the positive terminal. And next, you're going to take your second short wire, which is going from the negative terminal here to one of the grounds that is on the um, charging board. So you can get some right there. You're going to want to swoop it around. And get there, you add a little bit more solder. And there it is, it's stuck. All right. And you also want to have the um, negative going from your charging board to your DC jack as well. Video got cut off, um, so I'm doing a part two now. So what we want to have is the positive, um, positive lead from this charge port, which is going to be, uh, if you look from reverse, it's going to be this larger one right here. And you're going to wire that to the v uh, voltage in, which is this last one on the right. And this one right here that is ground is going to go to the ground of your charge port as well. So, um... We're going to get on that and my wire is already been tinned up. So doing this may be a little bit difficult since it is um, a little piece, but I'm going to try to get this on camera if I can. So that is the positive. And then we're gonna need to grab one more wire so we can do the, um, the ground for it as well. So I've now restripped another wire and we're gonna want to solder this one from the ground portion, which is gonna be this other terminal over here. And we're gonna wanna solder it like so. 
So I'm going to try to do this with one hand since I don't have my helping hands out. See if I can get it. And there we go. Not the most solid ground, so I'm going to try and retouch that with a little bit more. You do want both your connections to be as strong as you can make them, of course. And so since we have these here, this charge part will have to be um, glued in since, or any other form that you want to do if you want to, but gluing it in is going to be the easiest way. So we're going to take the positive one from here, and the positive one is going to run to the voltage in. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to snake these, um, these two wires under here on the side. It's just going to make it a lot easier to work with since they are going all the way to the opposite side of this case. My hands are quite sticky up from this flux. So you want to take the positive one and you want to double check that the one you are grabbing is of course the positive. I need to redo this one second. And so I'm just going to solder from the outside and then work in the jack after because it's actually becoming a little bit difficult to, to deal with right there. So I'm going to add some flux, take the positive wire, and we're going to solder that one to the voltage in, and we're going to solder the ground one to the ground point right here. So this is the ground first the voltage in. That one needs a little bit more solder on it. And you can work that jack back into place where it's supposed to be. And that is completing the setup. I know it looks not so pretty, but you honestly have so much room to work with. Um, now you can put your uh, Sega cover back on the other top half, and you can plug it into your Sega Nomad. And the last thing I needed to cover is I did have to make one adjustment and the two green wires that were right here, I did need to switch them. Um, so those were actually reversed. Um, but other than that, this is how you would mod your Sega Nomad pack to be rechargeable. And you would uh, end up just putting this back on, sealing it the way you choose to. And that's all.